you have an advantage when you're looking. <laughs> and I'm looking. And because you know that if you have the first signs of the discovery, the potential returns are huge. You're getting the best of all scenarios built into this hole and starting to show itself at the Keats West zone. Keats West actually says that to, to the investor. Look, there's another 10 kilometers on this side. From a tactical point of view, their tactical guides are, are some of the best in Canada, some of the best in the world. It's it's a first hole in the discovery, and there's there's a lot of space between it and any other drill. Five, 10, 15, 30 meter uh, uh, thicknesses of gold grade. You build a lot of tonnage very, very quickly. I'm encouraged on, on Keats West by the, the few amount of drill holes that we have in it, that it seems to be one significant zone. And the strength of that system with the amount of sulfides that were encountered and the amount of quartz veining and small quartz veining and complete fracturing of that rock is, is incredible. The recent success at Keats West is a major, major breakthrough for our exploration efforts at the Queensway Project. The west side, since the beginning of our exploration efforts, has kind of been discounted as we've had so much success on Keats, Golden Joint, Lotto, 515. And now, major breakthrough, the west side is also host to high-grade gold over significant interval width. Grade is misunderstood by the market. They all think that, you know, you have 5 million ounces of one gram of gold is the same as 5 million ounces of 15 gram gold. It's not. The profitability on the 15 grams is way more than 15 times greater. So the ounces are more valuable. So the grade here is very, very critical. And I think the market takes a long time to adapt to grade. I saw that when I was the chairman of Kirkland and you could see what was going to happen in the swan zone and their production and their profitability. And ultimately, you know, you finally have to produce a damn profitability before anybody believes you. But it was all in front of us. There's one thing we can't control in this business. We can't control the gold price. So we have to control our costs and make the lowest cost necessary and create the highest margin possible. And having that gold grade having been very high just makes good miners out of us. Grade is king. There's no doubt about that. A grade is what makes you money. So uh, more of that, please. <laughs> the second thing that's really impressive at Keats West is this broad mineralization. There was a significant interval, an aggregate of about 19 meters running over a gram. And this is the fourth hole now where we've seen an uh, aggregate of 19 to 30 meters running in this range of one to three grams. Great Bear, as a comparison company, they hit smaller zones of high grade, you know, one to three meters of 10 to 100 grams. And it was only when they started hitting bigger zones of much lower grade material that, that everybody really sat up and realized that there was going to be a big legacy resource. The stuff that really builds gold mines is those big, thick intervals of, uh, you know, one grams to five or six grams. There seems to be a lot of... Uh both high-grade and low-grade gold uh, throughout the property. Keats West essentially starts at surface. And when you have a zone that starts at surface, you can open pit it initially. We gotta appreciate that these are orogenic ore bodies and they can go very, very deep. They can go down a kilometer or two kilometers readily. Here they've found what is a replicate of the Keats zone a couple hundred meters away from the Keats zone. And they've been drilling, what, about 300,000 meters, all right? So it goes to show you're looking for a very small target. They're hard to find. But boy, when you do, they have impact. Look at the plane map in the news release, and you can see right away, oh, my gosh, there's, there's one hole, and there's nothing right around it. <laughs> it's amazing. You know what? If you find one and then you found another, who's to say you're, you aren't going to find a whole bunch more? People weren't sure if Newfoundland could host significant amount of gold in high grade. 
And I think we've really gone a long way in proving to people that we can. And then there was the concern that there's only one zone, but now we have three zones on the east side. We now have a zone coming together on the west side. Any great story has tension. There's the believers and there's the non-believers. And either one camp or the other camp gets proven right in the end. And what we've constantly seen here with Newfound is based on the success of exploration, the doubters are having less and less questions that they can ask. The only thing that we all um, have to think about is, okay, well, what's next? Right? What's next? And uh, you know they're going to drill in other places. They're not going to just sit there and try to drill out at Keats West. They'll be drilling Keats West, but they got two drills on Keats West. Well, they got eight or ten somewhere else, right? And I think they'll get a little more aggressive on the, well, let's step out and see if we can find an analogy to Keats West here over on the west side, north of where Keats West is. So, And or go down on the southern part of the, the property and start drilling that up where there's certain samples have been very encouraging down there. So there's probably lots to be found yet. Newfound has everything going for it. It's in the right country. It's next to infrastructure. It's near surface. One of the keys here is the majors have been consuming their young. And are, are they going to be interested in it? Hell yes, they are. There's two shareholders that each own about 33% of this company. Myself and the CEO. We're not foolish enough to think we're in this just to, to double our money. You know, I would never buy any mining stock with the thought of doubling my money. 